CataractCoach.com. Soft posterior polar cataract. Pearls for success in this challenging case. So this is me operating again. All these cases this week have been me doing surgery, and all these patients were from one single day in my operating room. So I get a beautiful variety of interesting cases here. Now it looks sped up because it is. We're showing you the whole video at two times normal speed. The video is about four and a half minutes, so the case took me about eight, let's say nine minutes. So there's that uh, red reflex. You can see posterior polar opacity, but also around it, PSC spread. Posterior subcapsular opacity spreading out like grains of sand from around it. Patients had this for many years, obviously. This is congenital, has it in the other eye as well. And I've been seeing the patient for a few years now. And it's at the point now where he just can't, he says he just can't live with it. He has to get this fixed. And so we're doing it. You can see it's a very soft lens. Patient's about 40 years old, still has a little bit of accommodation left. And so we're making our rexus here. I'm very careful to not make an overly large rexus. He's very widely dilated, a little bit myopic, larger white to white. So I keep measuring it so I can get that, boom, five millimeter rexus. Do not make an oversized rexus. Now I'm gonna do a little hydro delineation. There's the golden ring. Look at that and do a little more and get that, let's get that endonucleus up and out of the bag. And you can see how soft and mushy the lens is. So actually, let's just go straight to visco dissection. So now visco dissect in all quadrants. This lens again is soft. The endonucleus is already out. So we'll visco dissect in all four quadrants. This is using a dispersive visco elastic. And you can inject it there. And now let's take the IA probe. Whoa, no phaco probe needed, right? Yeah, it's pretty soft. So we'll just vacuum out this nucleus and let's be very cautious here. And again, the video is sped up to twice normal speed. And let's be very careful and cautious here. It's gonna take a while. Now there was no hydro dissection, of course, because we don't wanna cause a rip in the posterior capsule. So we wanna just get this whole big sheet of epinuclear shell and maybe some cortex up. And then as I'm doing this, I'm watching back there and looking, making sure that posterior capsule is not gonna pop open on us, right? So nice and easy, taking this out. Now there's a balance in this case. We know there's a defect in the posterior capsule, right? The capsule can be fragile, weak, or even frankly absent in, in certain spots. And so you gotta be very, very cautious in these cases. It's a young patient, you want a beautiful outcome for life. And so we're fortunate that, look, it's pretty good. There's really not much opacity stuck on that posterior capsule, a little bit maybe. Now what am I doing here? Cohesive viscoacid going in before taking out the phaco probe. The trick there, by the way, is to go to position zero as you start injecting. Because if you're on position one, you'll just wash out all the cohesive viscoelastic. So as you put the cohesive in the eye, you start to inject it with the left hand, with the right hand, hold the probe still, and go to position zero. So just trying to clean up a little bit of gunk there in the capsule bag. There's some sub-incisional cortex. So we should get that out. I'm gonna make another pair. I just can't risk anything in this eye. And so just to go in, BSS on a cannula, just go under there, sub-incisional space. Now you cut it on a bimanual, you know, cortex removal, but look how well that works. See, the added benefit of an extra paracentesis hurts no one and helps you tremendously. I'm going to slightly enlarge the incision here. Now this patient has a very strong need for a non-reflective IOL because of the line of work. I can't tell you exactly, but the patient, let's say, is on camera a lot. So the IOL goes in the eye. It's a three-piece monofocal lens, it's a silicone lens, and we put it in nice and easy. Now the beauty there is there's gonna be no reflections, zero. No matter how close up the camera is, you will not see a single reflection. The other nice thing as well is that if there is a break or problem with the posterior capsule, I already have a three-piece lens in the eye. I can already now dial it into the sulcus and then optic capture it, I can reverse optic capture, I can do anything I want. So it's a lot more versatile than having a single piece in the eye. And of course, there will be zero reflections from this lens. So there it is, there's that nice looking rexus. Notice how I do not let the AC collapse. So injecting BSS as I took the IA probe out of the eye, seal up the incision. That's looking pretty good. This patient had a very nice outcome and was quite pleased. And don't forget to hydrate that extra paracentesis. So that's my approach for a soft posterior polar cataract and a relatively young patient, about 40 years old. And thank you for watching.